experiment to determine the amount of iron in an iron tablet. In this experiment, we will measure the amount of iron 2 sulfate, FeSO4, in an iron tablet and then compare our results with the quantity stated on the packet. The quantity on the packet is usually stated in terms of milligrams of the anhydrous salt, for example, 200 milligrams FeSO4 per tablet. The amount of iron 2 sulfate is measured by dissolving some tablets in dilute sulfuric acid and titrating the solution against standardised potassium permanganate solution. Using a clock glass, five iron tablets were weighed accurately. The tablets were ground up using a mortar and pestle. It will make it easier to grind them if you add about 5 cm cubed of 1 molar sulfuric acid to the mortar. Taking all the precautions outlined previously, the paste of the acid and tablets was transferred to a beaker containing about 100 cm cubed of 1 molar sulfuric acid. The mortar and pestle were rinsed well to ensure that all traces of the tablets were transferred to the beaker. The paste was stirred to dissolve it. You may find that the outer coating of the tablet will not dissolve and this may give a slight pink colour to your solution. Do not worry about this as it will not affect your results. Taking all the precautions outlined in the previous experiments, the solution was transferred to a clean 250 cm cubed volumetric flask. All the washings were transferred to the volumetric flask and made up to the mark with deionized water. The stoppered flask was inverted about 20 times. We have already washed out the pipette, burette and conical flask with deionized water. The burette was washed out with potassium permanganate solution and the burette was filled up to the mark with the solution. Remember to read from the top of the meniscus. Ensure that the tap and space below the tap are also filled. The funnel was removed from the burette. A hundred centimetres cubed approximately of the iron tablet solution was poured into a clean dry beaker. The pipette was washed with a small amount of this solution and then 25 centimetres cubed of the solution was pipetted into the conical flask. Using a graduated cylinder, 20 centimetres cubed approximately of dilute sulfuric acid was added to the conical flask. Remember that the purpose of adding the acid is to supply the H plus ions in order for the reaction shown on the screen to occur. Titrate in the usual manner until a faint permanent pink colour is observed at the end point.
perform one rough and two accurate titrations. The two accurate titrations should agree to within 0.1 cm cubed. Using the average titration figure, it is now possible to calculate the mass of iron 2 sulphate in each tablet. The method of calculating is shown in your textbook. <laughs> 